I just got off the backbone with Zack Snyder. And apparently, the decision's final. And Ben Affleck is gonna be playing me, Batman, in the next Superman vs. Batman movie. And then I have to live with that decision. So Ben, if you're gonna play me, Batman, you better do it right. So I have some pointers for you. Firstly, you have to gargle water every night and put salt in it. Because this voice is hard to do. I also like to practice saying phrases that I'd use. Like, I'm Batman. I say that at least 75 times a day just to keep my vocal cords fresh. It's also a good idea to keep kryptonite on hand because super rapist, I mean Superman, likes to get rapey every now and again. Just remember, never keep red kryptonite on you. That just makes him angrier and rougher. That's another reason why I talk like this. I'm still in so much pain. Getting a divorce is also a good idea because there's a lot of sexy women in the Batman universe. Jennifer Garner's old news. What you need is a good Catwoman or maybe Poison Ivy. There's also Harley Quinn who's quite nasty. One thing you can't use is Matt Damon. He's too old to play Robin. And I know in Daredevil, you marked your symbol in the ground out of fire. I did the same thing in my last movie. It took me three friggin' days to do that. I suggest scrapping it. Do you know how many Gotham citizens died while I was preparing that fancy trick? I don't know the exact number, but I'm guessing it was a shitload. On second thought, maybe we can't get Matt Damon to play Robin. We're just gonna need an awful lot of lube and about this much spandex and a little bit of elbow grease. We have to wedge him in there nice and good. So this is me, Batman, endorsing you, Ben Affleck, to play me, Batman, in Superman vs. Batman. Because, frankly, I don't have another choice. I'm Batman.